Hi, I'm Dr. Sridhar Kalyanasundaram. In this quick video, we will discuss about differential cyanosis uh, in a newborn baby. So, cyanosis is bluish discoloration, and typically in a healthy baby where the PDA shunt is happening from the aorta to the pulmonary artery, the uh, baby is pink all over. In a baby with normal cardiac anatomy but persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn, also called PPHN, so we may have a direction of shunt which may be either right to left predominantly or bidirectional where it is intermittently right to left. So when the duct is shunting from right to left, you get the uh, deoxygenated blood to the lower half of the body because the duct is joining just across the left subclavian and that's why the preductal circulation is anywhere before the uh, left subclavian, the upper limb, right upper limb and the uh, head and neck while the post ductal is from the left subclavian downwards in the lower limb. So this is the image of PPHN and the lower saturation in the lower limbs and normal saturation or relatively normal saturation in the upper limbs. This is uh, reversed or uh, affected in the DTG anatomy with pulmonary hypertension. So the whole baby is cyanose but uh, there is more significant uh, uh, the PDA is shunting the blood to the lower half of the body so this is a kind of differential cyanosis but the degree of cyanosis is variable so this is kind of purplish and we have blue in the head and neck in a DTGA without pulmonary hypertension the whole baby is cyanosed you also get reversed uh, differential cyanosis not with desaturation in the upper limbs like we got with DTGA with PPHN. In a DTGA with coarctation, the, here there is no coarctation but I am just telling you for example, uh, if the PDA is open, the uh, oxygenated blood will go from the pulmonary artery to the lower half of the body through the PDA and so this baby will have uh, pink uh, lower limbs. Uh, and the upper limbs will be bluish because this is a part which is going from the aorta. There is another situation where just the uh, right upper limb is pink and the rest of the body is blue and this is uh, DTGA with uh, the aberrant right subclavian where the subclavian is coming from the main pulmonary artery which is actually bringing the uh, right pulmonary artery which is bringing the oxygenated blood. So these are rare situations and keep in mind that if the upper limb is uh, right upper limb is pink but the lower limb is blue that is what we get with uh, uh, typical PPHN uh, but when we have uh, the upper limb is blue the right upper limb is blue and the face is blue and the rest of the body is pink you can think of uh, reversed uh, cyanosis or coarctation of the aorta in a DTGA with pulmonary hypertension you get cyanosis all over but it is a deeper cyanosis in the head and neck region because the PDA is bringing relatively oxygenated blood to the lower part of the body. I hope uh, this simple video is useful and uh, do share.